Two Rock Hill sisters are facing charges tonight in connection to their 99 year old mother's death. Police found the woman's body last August. Yeah, that's just a disturbing story here. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks was in court today where detectives revealed details about how the woman died. The Rutledge sisters have lived in this home for the majority of their lives. It's where they cared for their elderly parents until their father's death. It's also where their mother was pronounced dead last August after a death investigation revealed that she had deep, discolored and open wounds that investigators say were in various stages of decomposition. To say that she was emaciated is putting it mildly. It was just to paint the picture, it was having a skeleton with skin wrapped around it. 68-year-old Nancy Rutledge and her 73-year-old sister, Martha Rutledge, appeared in court Friday. They listened to investigators detail their 99-year-old mother's condition after finding her in her bed unresponsive. An autopsy revealed she had spreading infections due to bed sores and open wounds, all leading to her death. A medical examiner detailed how some of the elderly woman's bones were protruding through her skin. That led to the sister's charges of abuse or neglect of a vulnerable person resulting in death. The victim was established as a vulnerable adult due to her advanced age and her inability to adequately provide for her own care. A pathology report said the victim had not seen a medical doctor for at least 10 years. Toxicology tests showed she had a blood alcohol concentration of 0 0.105 and tested positive for Delta 9 THC. My sisters and I have never had any ill will towards our parents. Ann Rutledge is the youngest of the siblings. She asked the judge to be as lenient as possible. She says her mother never wanted to leave the home or have any guests. And we have done everything in our power to make her comfortable and give her a long life. The only thing I regret is that she didn't make it to 100 because she wanted to. Victims advocates shared their concerns. The sisters would flee to Florida with family. They asked the judge to make them wear body monitor systems in place until their next court date. Taking into consideration everything that everyone has said and um, I've set your bond at $40,000 cash or surety. And in my mind, that's a fair bond. It may not be fair to everybody else, but that's what I feel. Shakira Speaks, Queen City News.